Good evening. I'm Miriam Parman, the founder and the president of the Miriam Parman Foundation for Injured Children. The foundation only helps injured children. That's all we do. My board members and I would like to tell you about some of the children that we've been busy helping this year. When you meet these children, you will see what true courage is all about. I would like to thank everyone for being here tonight to celebrate the children. And making it possible for us to give these kids the help and the care that they deserve. Without you, none of this would be possible. Agustin is a 10-year-old boy who suffered a birth injury, leaving him with only 10% of brain function. He is a very sweet boy. Our foundation built a state-of-the-art stairlift for Agustin and his mother, Hiromi. All of a sudden, my life is so easy, and it made me feel so happy, like, I can't explain. By all accounts, Oliver was a very determined and happy little boy. He was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and a genetic mutation. Our foundation funds intensive hypotherapy at the Horse Center for Oliver. We also paid for a summer program of intensive therapy at the Napa Center, which his insurance denied. It's just really a blessing to our son to um, be able to get the services that, that we're unable to provide for him. Kelby was diagnosed with spina bifida at birth. She's been in a wheelchair since she was two. With your help and donations, our foundation was able to install a state-of-the-art chairlift in Kelby's home. We also provided an adaptive tricycle so she can keep up with her neighborhood friends despite her disabilities. Melina is an extraordinary 13-year-old girl. At the age of four, she developed a condition called spinal muscular atrophy. She's been going to school, she's in eighth grade, and she has a 4.3 grade point average. Thanks to your help and generosity, the Marion Parman Foundation for Injured Children was able to purchase a transfer system for Molina, which allows her to get from her bed to her shower a lot easier. Audrina is a victim of sexual abuse. This type of injury takes years to recover from. Our foundation is funding weekly therapy for Audrina in addition to helping her mother overcome her distress and find new childcare for her daughter. Christian was abused by his father. Physical abuse so bad at the age of two that he can't move part of his body. The foundation helps to get Christian the therapy he needs so he can be a kid again. We give him swim therapy. We take him to and from the pool. We have therapists go to his house to give him occupational therapy. And we give him tutoring for schooling. The foundation is trying to help to make Christian's life a little bit better. In February of 2018, Brayden was involved in a very, very bad snowboarding accident, and he suffered traumatic brain injury. His first prognosis was that he would never use his right arm or his right leg again. Our foundation provides Brayden and his family with an in-home nurse three times a week and a Bionis medical device that helps him use his leg. It's helping me walk really good. I know I'm getting, getting a lot better. so many children that need help. These children that you met tonight need more help. Please give. We've done a lot, but we have a long way to go. Each and every one of you can and will make a difference in these kids' lives. With your help and donations, we are able to advocate for these children so they no longer fall through the cracks. Thank you for believing in our mission, and thank you mostly for believing in our kids. Your donations matter. Please help us by opening your hearts and continuing to support these kids and their families. You are impacting their lives in ways you couldn't imagine.